Hello. Sorry about that. I reset the game, as you guys can see. I hope you come back. So let's try this again. Hopefully it's saved too, because I'm not sure if it's saved. I got those boots. I got that skirt. I don't think I have that jacket though. Boots and the skirt. Okay, we're back. Okay, so it says talk to her in the dream castle again. All right, let's hope this does not mess up again. Let's go talk to her and then get her house. Hopefully we're able to put it down. I'm coming, Vanellope. Okay, so back to, <laughs> back to what I was saying before. Yeah, so um, if you guys know if it's true or not, like, is Mickey and Minnie really breaking up? Has society done this to us after a hundred years? I haven't been alive a hundred years, but, you know. Greetings, old friend. Okay, so we ran through this. It's 50-50. Okay. Now... She explains those disbuds. She's pushing it out of people's other valleys. So now she's going to give me her house. And we are going to put it down. Ah, see ya. Let's go put her house down in the village. I still don't. I mean, I understand why Remy has like an entire French apartment building. It's wild. But he's so tiny with such a big place. He should be in like a small house like Goofy. I mean, Goofy need to upgrade. I mean, kind of all the Mickey and friends need an update. Upgrade, sorry. Their houses are so small. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Oh, whoa, her house is huge. You guys, I don't think it's gonna fit. It's not gonna fit with enough space to put, like, you know, fencing and all that stuff around it. Let's let's try it on the other side. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Maybe we could put her house like right here if we remove all of this stuff, right? I don't want to put her in the swamp where Mother Gato is. That's, that's, that's a no-go. Ah, uh, no. I think we are going to take this space right here. So, let's see. Let's go to furniture. We'll back out of that. And we'll take this stuff down. No, not bad at that. Okay, let's remove, remove. Hey, I didn't say pick it up, sir, ma'am. How do I remove this? Why is it not allowing me to remove it? Ah, that's interesting. Well, let's me remove that. That is super weird that it won't let me remove that. Plenty ways. Um, no. Why did it kick me out? Anything else? Yeah, like, <laughs> it really won't let me move this. Like, that's wild to me. Okay, let's go break this rock. Oh. Bow. 
Okay. Oh, I have to remove that. Oh my god, this tree is like so in the way. <laughs> Okay, there we go. It should. I want to move this. Can I move this tree? Yeah, I can move the tree. I'll put the tree there. You're gonna have to move. For now, the tree could go there because I, I just realized it's in the way of the. <coughs> excuse me, of the tree. Okay, let's see if a house will be here now. Um, yeah, it will. No, not that I could. Oh my god, this analog is driving me crazy. There we go. I mean, that should be good, right? Awesome sauce. Good day to you. Scrooge, you here to steal more of my money? Why do I have to pay for these residents to live here? Hmm? Why can't you just be like, you know what? They're new. Let's just let them, you know, move in. But then they just gotta pay a monthly fee called rent. Like the real world. <laughs> yeah. Why is she sitting in front of the house while it's being built? Can't even see her. She all in the smoke. The sun's shining all Welcome. Well, she was just standing in front of the house. That's weird. Welcome, Vanellope. Welcome. Uh... I can barely see you. Oh, that was a terrible picture, you guys. That's bad. Awesome. I'm here. Who do who? Oh, who do 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 do? I said who do who. That's how you know. Mm. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. My glitch is back under control and I'm ready to explore. See you around, chum. Awesome. What did did I not welcome her? Come on, press start already. Oh let me give her a flower. I don't know if it'll work, but hey. Flowers usually level them up. Sweet mother of monkey milk. This is amazing. Come on, press start already. Okay. Let's give you this. Oh, look at that. Already at level two. And here comes Maui. I was wondering where he was all this time. All right, guys, give me one second. I gotta say, I like the stuff that you get with her level up. It looks super duper cute. Oh my goodness. Uh, what do we want to put her as? I think the easiest way to level up is gardening, so let's just make a garden. Hey, I've been thinking your valley is totally great, but it might be missing something. Got a sec? Okay, so I can't believe you have all this space and all this neat stuff, but you don't have a candy biome. That's a sweet idea. So glad you agree, John. Uh, if I'm going to stay... Well, we'll have to make some candy-related changes around here. I may no longer be a sugar rush raiser, but my love for candy never dies. First things first, landscaping. Take these candy cane seeds. What? Candy canes can be grown from the ground? Disney, don't, don't put those dreams in my head. Don't put those thoughts. <laughs> these look like normal candy. They are candy, kind of. 
special tree sprouting candy, you see. Plant them, sprout them, and then bring them to me when you're done. In the meantime, I'll try to find some more stuff around here that we can use to decorate. Icing stockings. Okay, let me go return that tree to where it was, because that's going to bother me. Hi, Nala. Okay, actually, I know where I want to put the tree. Believe it or not. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, tree! Hi, Mr. Tree. You're going to come over here. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. There we go. Cheese and crackers. That was a weird little glitch. Penelope already starting her nonsense. See y'all? Alright, perfect. You can go right there. I don't really want to put it there. I gotta figure out where I could put this giant, giant tree. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll put it right here, for now. Okay. All right, that was your space, some space to decorate her. But for now, we have to dig holes for seeds. Uh, how many did she give me? Ten. One. Two. No. Why would you do that? Awesome. Alright. Five. And five more holes. Plant the candy in the ground and make the candy tree grow. Y'all gonna have my kids putting candy in the ground thinking they're gonna get trees out of it. I don't know, Disney. I'll put these ideas in my baby's head. They're gonna be like, you can grow candy? No, you can't. Candy doesn't grow on trees like money doesn't grow on trees. I don't even know where that actually came from. I mean, I get money is made from paper, which is made from trees, but who came up with that thing? Alright, so I have to wait for the candy canes to grow in. And so that's going to probably take some time. Anyways, in the meantime, let's go check the castle for new doors. New toys! See, random things pop into my head. That's from Toy Story 3 with the evil bear lot, so. Yeah, I know. Watch. Watch too much TV. I know. It's crazy because my mom always said that would rot my brain, and boom, here we are. Brain rotted. Full of a bunch of pop cultural references. Oh, there it goes. Well, hello? Behind this door, you'll venture into an enchanted castle inhabited by a most curious young woman and a prince in disguise. He is not in disguise, okay? He is an animal, a beast, as they say. He ain't in disguise because he can't take it off. <laughs> Don't try to trick me. Oh my God, 125,000 dream? Holy crap, I don't even have that much. Oh, am I reading that number wrong? Y'all know math is my weakness, right? Okay, so it's 12, <laughs> it's 12,500, that's wild. I don't even see that. I think I have 74, so it should be fine. But, like, holy crap, I got to get on my dream light. <laughs> but yeah, I have 74 because the white is wild, you guys. Super wild. Stupendous! You are now ready to go through this door and greet both the beauty and the beast within. You told me my man is in disguise, and now you're going to call him the beast? 
Into the West Wing. Only on Fox. <laughs> All right, we're gonna track this one now. To the castle. All right, guys. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh. This place looks huge. At least. Oh. My man was like, wow. Oh, did he lock himself in the library? This place looks huge. Oh my gosh. Compared to the other realms that I've been in, this one is like the biggest by far. Ooh, what's happening over here? A page with neat cursive writing. It looks like someone is writing a story. The woman and the man of stone. Once upon a time, a young woman was walking into the woods. She heard a voice singing so sadly that it pierced her heart. She left the path to follow it. Uh, okay. I can't pick it up. So, which way do we go? Should we go up those stairs? Or those stairs? Let's go up these stairs. I don't want nothing jumping out and biting me. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, cool. Another thing. A page. Okay, I'm going to stop reading that. <laughs> you can't speak, the young woman asked, drawing closer to the man of stone. Hesitating as she reached out of her out her hand. Can you move? Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not even reading this in proper order. It did not go any other. S How foul, game! That is so foul. Y'all saw that right? Like it literally opened and was like, "Ha ha!" I'm gonna be on the other side. So shameful. How do you know, right? Now I gotta go on the other side and get it. the book doing <gasps> it flew away okay as long as you stay right there because I gotta get my thing okay <laughs> oh another page the voice led the young woman to a man of stone imprisoned in vines and thorns he boomed at her as she approached go away uh I saw like the beast now growling Come back, little floaty flying book. Where are you going? Ooh, floaty flying books. Belle, what's going on here? Why are these books flying everywhere? Oh, uh... Do I know you? I promise you can trust me. Uh. I feel like I can, but I'm afraid this storm of flying books is being quite difficult. That's a good read on the situation. <laughs> Lame. I'm an expert book wrangler. I am not an expert book wrangler. Stop lying. <laughs> You enjoy wordplay too? Well, I'd love to discuss it with you later, but for now, will you help catch them? Mm. Once we collected all the flying books, I can explain everything. Right. Who's this we? Because I don't think you're participating in this. Catch the flying books in the library. Hey, how do I catch them? Oh, oh, oh no, put the. Okay, put the umbrella away, sis. You standing in the way of me trying to catch these dang books. Oh my god, every time I press the X button, it's talking to her. There we go. Not scary. Oh, come back here. Ah, I got you. 
Ah, uh, I got you too. Gotcha. Haha. You caught some of the books, and look, the rest of them are falling. Oh. Thank you for helping stop the bookstorm. Oh. Old friends? It's strange. I do feel as though we met before. The truth is hard to explain and harder to believe. For now, just trust that I'm here to help you figure things out. That was just a typical day in Dream Valley. Mm -hmm. Dreamlight Valley, it's a magical place filled with wonder and adventure and friendship. That sounds like somewhere from one of my favorite books. It's just like that. You should visit once we sort everything out here. What started this in the first place? I'm not sure. The Beast and I had a disagreement. He asked me not to go into the West Wing again. But there, were, there was something there I wanted to see. How did that make the books fly? I don't know that it did. I don't know that it did. I think it must have been something else. What happened next? We argued and then I left and came here to find something to read. But as soon as I opened my book, all the books started flying off the shelves in a storm. I don't think it's part of the enchantment on the castle. It must be dreamlight magic. The storm of books was reflecting your feelings. Mm -hmm. Dreamlight magic? I've never heard of that, but the Beast was the one who was most upset. He locked himself in the West Wing, and he won't open the door for anyone. Ooh, let's trick him into opening the door. Dang it. That would only upset him more. You're probably right. Is there another way into the West Wing? Well, when I first arrived at the castle, Lumiere did say something about a secret passage in the library. I've never found it, but you can search the library and see if you can. I'm going to put these books back on their shelves. I'm so excited! I'm glad. Please come find me if you locate the secret passage in the library. You might want to check the rolling ladder in the corner. I felt a cold draft there the other day. Au revoir! Au revoir! Ooh, what's this? Is that a piece of wood? Okay, that was completely and utterly weird. And I don't know what that is, but we got it. Oh, wait, is there more? Oh, wait, 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 there we go. Another piece of wood. Any more, any more, any more? Let's go check over here. Oh, wait, wait, there we go. Another piece of wood. And what's this? Another piece of whatever that is. Look at Mrs. Potts! And Chip. I can't get it? What? What is happening? Why can't I get the shiny shines? Oh, it's over here. Well, another piece of wood. What? Broken bottom, missing steps, and wheels. Um... Which ladder am I supposed to- Oh, that's the only ladder here. Okay. I'll be back, because I chased the book down here, and I didn't get to see what the rest of the castle was like, so. I want to go see what else is out there. What does this lead me to? Stop! This is the yard. Oh, there's more? This is the biggest room of- Seen thus far in this game. Wow. I don't know what happened in here. Oh, look, more of the story. The man of stone and the young woman headed deeper into the woods. They were truly free and chased adventure together ever after the end. How did I just get to the end of the book? What happened to the rest of the book? How did they even get to running in the woods? Don't get me interested in the story and then just like. Ooh, what's that? Can I dig that up? I'm nosy. No? 
Oh, it won't let me. Shady. I don't think I was there. The exhausted young woman fell asleep in her home with the thorns, the thorn wounds burning. When she awoke, she was transformed. What? Y'all are throwing me off the story. When the man of stone saw the beastly young woman, he wept. He had tried to warn her about the thorns, but she howled with delight, slashing the thorns until he was free. When did she become an animal? That is super duper confusing. Delightfully confusing? We don't know. I'm just running around a maze, and I think I'm honestly lost. When the man of stone saw the beastly young woman, oh, I think I I um I read this part. Okay, so we didn't read that part. Slashing at the thorns until he was free. I'm about to say I think we done went and got lost, y'all. Can we go through here? Oh, all right, back upstairs. No, I think I lost. I lost. <laughs> I can speak, the man of stone said, and I would be able to move if not for these cursed thorns. Or cursed, cursed thorns. I'll be forgetting I'm going to speak olden days, y'all. Okay, this okay now I'm not lost anymore. Alright. Oh snap, back to the library. Alright. Let's repair the bookshelf, y'all. Or oh, the ladder. There we go. Hidden passage unlocked. Awesome sauce. Oh. You found the secret passage. That's wonderful. Behind a bookshelf, dreams come true. It took forever to find. <laughs> it is intriguing, mm -hmm. isn't it? Like something out of a mystery. Let's go see the beast. Huh? I think I ought to stay here. He's still upset with me. Ah. Oh, but you are a stranger. He won't like a stranger in his room either. Even the staff rarely go in there. I can dress like one of them. <laughs> I'm not scared of the beast. I mean, common sense would tell me to be scared, but it's, it's Disney, so I shouldn't be scared. Man. I admire your courage, but I don't feel, I'd feel better if you wore some sort of disguise. I used to sew quite often with when my father needed things for his inventions. With a few special items, I'm sure I can make a costume for you. Mm. Let's see. We'll need castle candles, castle candle holders, and a golden curtain. If you search uh. the castle, I know you'll find what we need for a disguise. I hope we can talk again soon. Listen, Linda. This is your castle. You got me running all over the place. Can I dig in that stupid circle now? No, but I found more stuff. Candle, candle, candle. Oh, that's just the book, right? Yeah. Some more? Is there more over here? No, no, no. Oh, that's the pages. Come on. Let's find that glowing square in the ground. Let's see if we can dig it up now. Can we dig it up now? Probably not. Nope. It still won't let us. Oh, no. That's the story. They won't even let us go in that door. That's wild. Okay, back in the door we came, I guess. 
Oh, is there anything up here I can use? Nope. I'm all lost again. Yeah, I am. Oh no, I found my way back. Alright, back inside. Oh, huh? Oh, I was just down there. Like a curtain? I don't see no curtains around. Oh, nope, that's the story. Alright, we're stuck. Can I go this way? No, I cannot go that way. And that way would be the exit. That's the story. Oh wait, oh, 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 oh. Got like that. Okay, so where's this golden curtain thing at? No. It's not here. Oh, there are some stuff in the library. Did I get it all? No, I'm missing two candles. Okay, here's a, a candle right here. And there's one more candle. Is this it? Awesome! We found it! I was wondering where I was gonna find that curtain at. I was like a curtain. Bonjour. You found everything for your disguise. Let me see what I can do. Stitch here, a button there. It's ready. Here, put on this candlestick disguise and take the secret passage to cut to check on the beast. Ah. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll be safe. He might seem intimidating. There's more to him than meets the eye. Yeah, like some therapy and anger management sessions. Oh, Just saying. Oh, I look crazy, but I'm loving it. Alright, uh, let me take these wings off because no, that's gonna throw off my whole disguise right there. Alright, cool. Now I look like I look like C three PO's girlfriend. Ooh, a chest. Y'all really gonna stop throwing these things all over the place. The young woman tried in vain to free the man of stone, but she wounded herself on the thorns and vowed to return with help. I already read the end. Just reading this story out of order is annoying. He ain't there growling like he ain't got no common sense. All right, y'all, let's go in. We just gonna open a curtain. That was all the dramatic. Thing. Where he at? Oh, there he goes. Sir, why are you in here without me? Who's there? Then follow my orders. Leave me alone. I'm here to check on you. <laughs> Your fluffiness. <laughs> I'm fine. I told you all to leave me be. And I... Wait. I don't know you. Who are you? How did you get in here? Well, I... Uh... 
Answer me! Why are you dressed like a candlestick? Guess it's not a great disguise. I was hoping you'd laugh. Does what's happening in my castle amuse you? No, no, it's not that. I should throw you in the tower for trespassing. Wait, wait. I'm a friend of Belle's. She asked me to check on you, but it seems like you're a little busy fixating on that old portrait. Belle is sorry, and she's very worried about you. She is? She said that? Hmm. Okay, I'm guessing that hmm means... Hmm, and that hmm means I'm right. Are you feeling shame? What would you know about it? I know that sharing what we're ashamed of can make it feel less scary. She just... <sighs> she came here after I asked her not to, and she was just staring at it. The old portrait? Yes, she was looking at the face with so much. Ugh, how could I ever compete with myself? That's redundant, but okay. Do you want a hug? <laughs> this is a misunderstanding. Just go. Get out! Goodbye. Deuces, homie. I gotta tell me twice. You're gonna stop screaming at me with your wolf breath. Mm. You saw the beast? Is he alright? I think he's sad. He thinks he'll never measure up to the prince in that old portrait you were staring at. Mm. Oh no. I was just trying to see if there was something there that would help me understand who he was so I can better understand who he is now. He didn't uh -huh. see it that way. I'm so sorry about that. I'm not sure what to do. What if we made him a new painting? Uh -huh. What an interesting idea. But I don't paint, do you? <laughs> In my dreams. <laughs> mm. Well, I'm sure you have many other talents. If only we could snap our fingers and have a new painting. Hey, great idea. Maybe I could use some of my dreamlight magic to help us. I'll head to the valley and consult with Merlin. Oh. What's a Merlin? Our resident wizard. You mean a real wizard? Like in a storybook? Yeah, girl. Exactly. He's like the magical encyclopedia with a great hat. <laughs> Merlin's always trying to help people in the valley with his magic and his experiments. <laughs> experiments? Hmm. Merlin sounds a bit like my father and his inventions. I'd love to meet him someday. Hey, maybe someday you will. For now, I'll go talk to Merlin about some magic to make a new painting. That would be wonderful. I look forward to hearing about what you'll discover. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Now, to find my way back to Merlin, I think it's this way. Yep, I remember. I'm memorizing the layout. Ooh. All right, to Merlin. I need to eat something. This is driving me crazy. She is running so slow. Ah, it's a little bit better. Now let's find Merlin. Alright, where is he? No. There we go. Matt. Oh, he's inside Scrooge's store. Awesome. Merlin! 
We need your kooky, crazy assistance. What the heck? Hmm. How am I supposed to talk to you? You stuck in. That is so inappropriate, oh, dude. Oh dear. No, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Are you still here? <laughs> Thank you. I'm just teasing. Oh, y'all are some inappropriate old folks. Oh, hello. Not cool. Merlin, I vis I visited Belle and the Beast in their room, and I need some help. It's a long story, but do you know any enchantments that can make a painting? Oh. A creative quandary. That certainly is fascinating. There are tools and charms that just might suit the purpose. They'll allow you to create an enchanted canvas, one that will paint itself. That's gangster. How you use... <laughs> How you use this this spell? Why certainly. On occasion, I feel the need to rearrange and redecorate my study to reinvigorate my imagination with new stimuli. <laughs> Stupendous. So I have used such canvases to preserve treasured moments and as you might say, shake things up. Now let's see if I recall correctly, you'll need soft wood and fiber. Then you must gather white daisies, garnets, and dream shards. Oh, and there's one more vital ingredient. One you won't be able to find in the valley. Magic paintbrushes? <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. Extraordinary! As you well know, no, the very best art comes from the heart. This is where our final spell component comes in. <laughs> you must have Belle tell the canvas a story. Ask her to share a happy memory of the time she had with the beast to activate the magic. <laughs> when she does, you'll see a new masterpiece bloom right before your eyes. I couldn't have done better myself. Uh, all right, Merlin. Let's go do this. Just like a candle. Okay, how do I craft? The enchanted canvas. Oh, I have everything. I just need to find a crafting table. Awesome! Alright, I think there's a crafting table right here. Awesome. Where is it? Oh, there we go. <gasps> Can I make more than one? Damn it, they won't let me make more than one. I want to put one in my house. <laughs> All right. Bring the can and Jamie Davis to Bell. Okay. Back to the castle. Le Castle. Oh, you poor squirrel. You're trapped inside the gate. They generated you inside the gate. Shady. No, I did that floor. I was like, oh, are we on that floor? Now we're on this floor. I wonder what the other two are going to be. Hmm. Come on, speaking of where the other ones are, where the heck is Wreck-It Ralph? We only got Penelope. So far. Maybe he comes oh, later. You came back. To an enchanted castle? Of course. This castle is full of surprises. Secret passages, dancing silverware, flying bugs, and soon one brand new painting for the beast. I just need your help to finish it. Where should we put it? I know the perfect place. Follow me. I hope we can talk again soon. He came out of there while I was gone. Okay. The beast must have left. Let's get the painting ready before he comes back. Maybe he went to the potty. Merlin said you should tell me about a happy memory you two share. And that will complete the painting. He really is a good wizard. He really is a wizard. 
Right, let's hurry and finish this before the beast finds us. I don't want him to think you snuck in here again until he can see the new painting. You're right. Well, early on in my time here, I tried to run away and I was attacked by wolves. What happened next? He saves me and then I tended the tended the wounds he got from fighting the wolves. After that, we started to understand each other. We dined together, went for walks. Once, uh -huh. even, we even fed the birds in the courtyard. I remember seeing these those small creatures in his hands and thinking that he really is gentle in his own way. Belle, it's working. Look. Oh. Where the hell he popped up from? What? What is this? Belle and I made it with a happy memory she has of the two of you together. The day in the courtyard with the birds, I remember. It's perfect! Thank you both. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome, so you angry hostile creature. Nice. Thank you. That was better than I could have hoped. Oh. I'm so glad he liked the painting. You make a great team. Uh. Yes, I've enjoyed having this little adventure with you. You know, there's plenty more adventure and magic to discover in the valley. You and the beast should come for a visit. Uh -huh. I'd love to, but I'm not sure the beast would feel comfortable going to a new place and being around new people. There's got to be some way to bring him around to the idea. I'll see if I can work my magic. Thank you, and thank you for helping us understand each other better. It means so much to me. You are very talented. I am very talented, but you got Stockholm Syndrome, sis. I'm just saying. Hello. Hello. I can talk in a slow, low D voice, too. <laughs> hey, you seem <laughs> deep in thought. <sighs> You and Belle showed me kindness, even though I lost my temper. I want to give her a gift, something to show I'm trying to change. Uh. You will... Will you help me? That's what friends are for! Oh. Friends, I'm glad you consider me a friend. Uh. I suppose you've gotten to know Belle. What do you think she would like? How about flowers? Maybe some chocolate. Talk to her. I thought she would want some books, you know, but I could be wrong. That's too simple. She could find them for herself in the garden or the greenhouse. Perhaps I could. No. No, I shouldn't. Sounds like you have an idea. Let's hear it. I have an enchanted mirror that can show us the perfect gift for Belle, but I need your help to get it. I was using the mirror too often to watch the outside world, so I locked it away and broke the key into three pieces. My mans, you really got some anger issues. On my command, Lumiere hid the pieces of the key. Then he decided to make me a treasure hunt to find the pieces with riddles. Great. Yeah, I feel like that too, my mans. <sighs> I'm no good at riddles. Me either. I am awful at riddles. I don't like anagrams either. Oh my god. Oh my god, they kill me. Treasure hunt, riddles, I'm in. You find this exciting? That's helpful. Please search the castle using the clues to find the pieces of the key. When you have them all, come back to me. We'll open the chest and use the mirror. Uh, good luck. Goodbye. What? Wild. How am I supposed to find a hidden in a hot place? Hidden in a place where silence roars? Hidden in a thorny place. Okay, thorny place should be easy. That should be like the, what do you call that? The courtyard, right? 
And a place where silence roars, I would guess, is a library. But I hate riddles, y'all, so we might be here for a while. <laughs> if y'all got any ideas, I'm totes open, but I don't do very well with riddles. Uh, I do like puzzles, but puzzles and riddles are two different things. You know? Let's check the courtyard. Okay, here we go. Back outside. Can we go in here? Nope. Goodness gracious. Um, no, that's the story. Now, that's gonna keep getting me. I think now I can dig up that spot. Oh, I can't see. I think now I should be able to dig up this spot, right? I think so. Oops. That's a trap. Yeah! Now we can do it. Okay, but are they all diggy spots? Yes. I'm well aware that's not a, a real word, word. Excuse me. He says some place that gets hot. I'm going to assume that's the fireplace. Uh, which way? Okay, it's obviously not here. No. Ah! Nope. Nope. That's, that's another story. Yeah, that's the story. Oh man, this is gonna take me forever. Okay. Oh, it's on the screen. Hanging in a place where science was. I'm pretty sure that's the library. Hanging in a hot place is like a fireplace. I don't see no fireplaces in here. Circles here, y'all. Oh, fireplace, duh. Okay, um, this is the fireplace. Somewhere hot. Oh, there she goes. I thought she was still on there. I'm pretty sure it's in here somewhere. You know what? Bear with me, guys. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna look it up. This is called Prince of the Sky. Ah, so I was right. <laughs> it is in the fireplace. I just didn't go about it the right way. You gotta put the fire out. There we go. Okay, and the last one. Ah, okay. Oops. Go this way. Okay, so we gotta go back this way. So this end is scratchy. Why did I not see Riddle? Because that makes sense. It says something that's silent, a roar, a statue, a lion statue. <laughs> Duh. Why did I not see that? It was literally right there the whole time. 
fire! Give me the key. Well, I ain't need to break the whole statue, but, you know. I'll, I'll pay you back. I mean, it's your thing anyway. You don't want to hit the key and stuff. Alright. That was awesome. I'm glad you're here. You found all the pieces of the key. Thank you. I'll put them back together. Would you like to take the key and get the enchanted mirror out of the chest? If I try, I might break something. I hope we speak again. I mean, my man's are right next to you. But okay. Alrighty, mirror here. Give you the mirror. Thank you for speaking to me. Here you go, one enchanted mirror. Uh, Thank you. I'll show you how it works. Hmm. Hello. Okay, let's review what we saw in the mirror. Bell surrounded by lots of loose papers with writing all over it. The pages were everywhere. I think Bell is writing stories. Hmm. Maybe we could create something to collect her stories together. We're on the right track. Oh. Cue laughter track. Please don't. <laughs> it was a great joke. Hmm. What we need is a gift. You must have some idea. What about a journal with a quill and some ink? A nice book kit. That way she can write her stories all in one place. That would be perfect, but... I wouldn't know where to find those things in the castle. That's what I'm here for. I can get those things for you, no problem. I'm glad you've come here. I'll head to the valley to get the supplies we need. The valley? What valley? It's where I'm from. Belle really wants to visit it with you. She said that? Yes. Just think about it, okay? I'll go make Belle's book kit. Farewell. Ask a villager for a fed. Oh, that's probably Donald, y'all. I mean, at this point in time, I think he's the only duck member. Cause they haven't given us Daisy yet. Like, when are they gonna drop Daisy? How you drop Minnie and Mickey, and not even Daisy? You drop Donald and Goofy. Daisy should be up and now. I'm just saying. No. It could be good if we, we got Daisy. I mean, look at how long it took y'all to give us Belle. And she's on the dang cover art for the game. All right, where is he? Ah, uh, he... Oh, I got Scrooge, too. That actually makes sense. There was more than one duck character. I forgot about Scrooge. And I shouldn't, because he always at me for some money. Donald, can I have one of your feathers? What? You want one of my personal feathers? I mean, aren't they all personal? That would be great, thanks. That wasn't an offer. I'm in the middle of an emergency. An emergency? I was fishing with Goofy, and he got a big bite on his line. I jumped up to help him bring it in and knocked my lucky fishing rod into the pond. Use Goofy's rod to fish out your fishing rod. <laughs> hey, that just might work. Great. So can I get a feather? Bye. I gotta go rescue my lucky fishing rod. Thanks for the idea. <sighs> Guess I'll have to ask someone else for that feather. Why you shave me like that, Donald? Like, for real? This is why you need Daisy. You need to be put in check, my man. Shady. Shady. He just shaded me. That wasn't even necessary, my man's. I mean, I'm pretty sure Scrooge would probably try to charge me an arm and a leg for his. 
I could just, you know, get it from you, like, sleeping. And go, yoink! And then just run away like nothing ever happened. Where is Scrooge at? Oh, there he goes. Good day, dear. Hi, Mr. McDuck. Can I have a feather? Ooh, let's try to tempt them. It will bring a royal customer to the valley. Those two have certainly been missed around here. So you hope? For them and for you, this one's on the house. This one's on House McDuck. I found a real beauty under the chair in my office. It must have I must have shed it while when I was tallying the accounts last night. What? Didn't expect him to be so generous. Talk to your nephew. He got problems. <laughs> your nephew. <laughs> Him and B should get along just fine. Because they be killing me with the anger issues. Like, bring it down, sirs. Alright, so let's see. Alright. Ooh, can I make multiples? Damn it. Who really won't let me make more than one? That looks like such a cute decoration, too, if I could, like, make it and put it in my house. Oh, because I only have one feather. Not actually one feather. I'm going to make multiples. Alrighty, then. Back to the castle. Look at Eric. Where you going, my man? Don't bow to me. Go find Ariel. steam ahead there you go I'm glad you're here I'm sure Belle will like this thank you but I've been thinking a gift isn't an apology during our disagreement I yelled and broke things how could she ever forgive such a monster you're not a monster. Did you ever consider that having all these big feelings, sadness, care, and even guilt is really compassionate? <sighs> no. Well, it is, and Belle sees that in you. I'm sure of it. Let's get you cleaned up for your apology. It will help. What's, where's your grooming stuff? <laughs> I, I don't know. I haven't cared about that in so, so long. Don't worry. I'll look around and find your grooming items in no time. This castle is literally riddled with crap all over the place. <clears throat> I just need to find princely shampoo, princely cologne, and a brush. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Move out the way, homie. <laughs> Let's see what else we can find. Why isn't everything in one place in this place? You just got your brush everywhere, your comb everywhere. Where the bell go? She dips at it. I don't even know where to look for all this stuff. Let's go back to the courtyard. That seems to be central area. No. Stop getting tricked by that. Oh crap, there she goes. She's out here staring at flowers. Ugh. You know what? I don't got a lot of time left, so we're going to look it up.
Oh, I just had it. Oh, I am definitely in the wrong place, guys. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. And where was the last one at? Oh, I was all in the same room and my, I was all over the place. See? I'd have been looking like a fool. Hello. Here you go. When polished and perfumed prints coming right up. You look great, beast. How do you feel? Uh, Better. Uh, but what if I say the wrong thing to her? Then all this is for nothing. You won't, because we're going to rehearse your apology. Uh, How? Like this. I'll be Belle and you be you. You hurt my feelings. But, but, you're the one who broke the rules. You were looking at the painting. Deep breath, try not to get defensive, okay? You're right, can we start again? Okay, it's me, Belle. What did you want to talk about? <sighs> Belle, I was very angry when I saw you staring at the painting, but I shouldn't have frightened you. Or lost my temper. Oh. I'm sorry. That was great. Really? You think she will accept my apology? You're ready. Let's go find Belle. Thank you. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, wait. Well, I'm sorry for losing my temper. I should have asked why you were there so we could talk about it. Thank you for saying that. I didn't mean to upset you. I was just trying to understand more about you. You can ask me anything, but first, this is for you. For your writings. A journal? Oh, it's wonderful. Thank you. I'll use it to write all about our adventures. In fact, do you think it might be time to have our next adventure? I would like that. Aww. The beast just gave me the nicest apology and a wonderful journal for my writing. You've done so much for us already, but I have one more favor to ask you. Anything, just name it. You've mentioned that we might visit your village. It sounds like a marvelous adventure the Beast and I could have together. Would there be a place for us to stay while we're there? Of course, I can make sure of that. I'll just take me, it'll just take me a little time. Thank you. Please come back soon. I can't wait to visit such a fascinating place.
I'll get picked, but I'm going the right way. Let's go put their house down. Let's go see how big it is. It's probably super huge. I, just, I don't want to put them in the swamp either, but that would be a great punishment for the beast. Me. <laughs> Uh, oh no, it's not a red end. It's raining, it's raining. I think I have space over here. I think. Oh yeah, I have plenty of space here. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm, I'm going to have to clean this mess up. And I can put them right here. Alright, let's clean this up. I did this when I was doing the Wally thing. Um. Oh. Boom. I was about to say, I have to say any race this. Alright, cool. Oh man, this yeah, this is this is pretty big. Oh, this is perfect. Uh, um, I don't want to move it around too much. This is good. I'm gonna go with that one. Awesome. How much is this gonna cost me? Bell and the beast want to return to the valley? Oh, well, bless me, bagpipes. Let's go to a nice place for a proper return. Oh my god, it's 20000 Whew. Props to being a millionaire. All that hard work did not go to waste. I'll make this place shine like a new penny. Awesome. And I love the color purple. Not just the movie. Welcome back. Come on, I was just ruining the moment by walking in the background. I really gotta take this shiny gold outfit off. Oh, it's all starting to come back to me. Merlin's library, the wonderful food at Shea Remy, our friends, and adventures. I'm so glad your memories are coming back. Will you please take this note to the beast? He stayed behind because he was unsure about the village. This will reassure him that he can join me here without any problem. Sorry, I was drinking. I'm reading the most wonderful book. I can't wait to tell you about it. Oh, crap. I forgot I read Level Up. Um, I don't know what to give you. Go right here. That didn't even do nothing. Okay, what are your favorite things? Uh, tropical pop, large seafood platter, and green passion rose. Hmm. Let's go see if we can find it. I need to level you up. Oh wait, I don't have to level you up to go talk to the bees. All right, I'll be back then. I'm gonna go return this. Simba, what you doing over here? Let's go give him this note. Oh, jeez, he's standing right there. I'm glad you're A note here. from Belle? Mm. 
It says she's very happy in the valley and she wants me to join her. Hmm. You'll fit right in. Everyone in the village is a little different. That's why it's so special. And you'll be there too? Of course. Whenever you need me. Mm -hmm. Alright, show me. I'm ready. Farewell. Do we ever get to transform him into, like, the prince? Or is he, like, gonna always be the beast? Because, you know, like, Ariel can walk on land now. And now Ursula can walk on land via the Vanessa story. Just kidding, it's just fine. <laughs> I am done. I just had to... Yeah, I'm done. Never mind. They're hilarious. I don't remember this place, but it seems... I do remember this place, but it seems different. The forgetting changed a, a lot, but I know in time you'll feel okay here again. Thank you. I must find Belle. I will never forget what you've done for us. Well, off to find Belle he is. Okay. Let's go level him up. I don't know what the beast wants, but, um, it's the beginning of Ariel. There she goes. Let's go give Belle, Beast, and I think Vanilla Bee, what they like. Let's see. Um, there we go. Oh, there we go. Uh, green Passion Lily. Alright, we can give her that. Because we already gave her two things for the day. They're not going to allow me to give her another two. Let's see. Green Passion Lily. And Large Seafood Platter. Lemon Garlic Swordfish and Purple Impatience. <laughs> Excuse me, you guys. Just got the hiccups. That's oh my flowers are out here. I think yeah, my flowers are out here. Not bad, y'all. Oh, these are all the extra. Okay. So purple impatience and okay. So we got. I only need two of them, right, and is that purple, this is it, oh, no, 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 right here, yep, purple impatient, oh, no, I didn't need all of them, no, go back, okay, mm, swordfish thing, let's go, let's go cook, let's go cook, Okay, where would we put, I think that would be here, right? The swordfish thing. Lemon garlic swordfish thing. <gasps> where is, oh there it goes. <laughs> awesome. Lemon garlic swordfish. And um, what was the other thing? A tropical pop, right? I would say it should be on the dessert, right? Okay. Nope, that's the lemon sherbet one. There we go. That's a really big pop to kill. Okay, what was the other thing? Uh, that fast up guy, see? All the way down to the bottom. What was the other thing? Uh, banana pie. Okay. Banana pie. Perfect. Done. Now I want banana pie. That looks delicious. Alright, let's go find them. Okay, 
let's let's not run around the map like a crazy person. Okay, so she is over there, and where is he at? I don't see him. He's not there. Um, I don't know. Is he in the restaurant? Oh, he's in the restaurant. Okay. Uh, okay. How do I get here? Okay. 